It's time to film, comrade. Hey guys, what is up? It is 13 Gaming here. And yes, I know, I promise to be making videos a lot more uh, frequently because of semester 2, but really I've been so busy lately. I know that's hard to believe with only two classes, but I've been looking for a job, so I've been doing that a lot, and I think I have one now. So that is good, but that means I'm going to be busy, so I am going to try to make videos a lot more frequently because I know like I've been busy but I've also been lazy at the same time but I I have like a few good games to upload and I will probably start playing uh, I, I'm gonna force myself to play through a whole game because I have so many games that I haven't even started playing like as I said in a lot of videos like I have like what like 30 40 games that I haven't even tried yet and they're all like new games that came out this year or last year like so I'll definitely play through one of those especially since March break is coming up me and my friend Mr. Gerstorf will probably be doing a dual commentary uh, with the game it'll probably be a scary game because those uh, dual commentaries are a lot funner uh, maybe I was thinking Dead Space because it's a good it's a good uh, game for like scariness but also it's uh it's inter entertaining and it's like you use guns and like it's action packed compared to like an amnesia you you don't really it's like you try to survive the whole time but you there's no action in amnesia so that's why i think that space will be better so anyway um about this game uh, I think this game was pretty good. Uh, I started playing Headquarters a lot because I just found out that I'm really good at it. <laughs> and basically, I started playing Headquarters with my Scar and I had nothing. And basically, I played it until it was gold. I didn't play any other game mode and I've had, I didn't use any other gun than my Scar. And it actually didn't take me too long to get um, gold because like in this round, I think I got like 84 kills in just one round. So it actually didn't take me that long to get gold because I just freaking rape like like I just I just know where they'll be and stuff and I don't know I, was, I just I guess I was just really good that day but anyway um back to my life I guess um so I will try again as I said to make more videos I'll probably try to make I think I'll try to do those random random epic clips when I'm playing random games um, just because they're a lot easier to make and I do a lot of random epic stuff in the game like I think I got like a quad feed with my M14 and it was actually it looked really cool and stuff so I might like upload those things a lot more frequently but I'm also gonna try to do like at least two or three game videos a day uh, would it be, um, it could be from like Modern Warfare 3 or from a game I'm playing through. Um, it really matters um, what my schedule is and how busy I am. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of like an update with me. Um, if I'm working, I'll probably be working like three to four times a week. So that's why I'm, I think two to three times a week making a video would be a good, uh, good goal because um it's not really just playing the game you have to have a good game that's worthy of uploading so you have to play through that a lot except for like for me for modern warfare 3 i don't really have to play too much to get a good round not to try to sound cocky but i am pretty good but um so you have to get a good round and then you have to edit it and then you have to talk over it. you have to make a commentary on it so that takes a lot of time and then you have to upload it and all that and render it and if you don't do the rendering properly which can take hours at a time and you messed up somewhere then um, you, can, you have to re-render it again so that's why it can take a couple days um, if you mess up to upload a video but I will try to make sure I don't mess up and I will try to do at least at least two times a week but my goal is three but uh so yeah that's what my goal is right now and yeah um so about this round i've been using as i said the acr a lot and i like doing the rpgs 
Um, I like using them because it's if people are camping in the caves, then I can just clear them out. But it's also for the for the uh, the air the air streaks or sorry, <laughs> I'm retarded. The the planes. <laughs> I can't even think of what to call them. The airborne kill streaks or whatever you want to call them. They're for those guys because. First off, there's two rockets in the, in the RPG, and then all the other ones have one except for the javelin, I think. But I don't like using the javelin; I'm not really good with it. And then, yeah, so it's like it has two purposes. So I think it was a really good secondary because my ACR is really good, so I don't really need like a secondary machine pistol or anything because I have extended mags and silencer, so it's not really necessary. And then, um. Yeah, if you guys don't know headquarters, what it is, um, I suggest you try it because it's actually pretty fun. Uh, what it is is basically you randomly in the map. There's like a time limit for everything, but a, a headquarter will appear, and it, I think it gives you like 30 seconds before it goes online. And that white um, triangle up to that triangle where it says target, that's where the headquarters is. In that room, it's like the area where you can capture it is actually a lot bigger than like domination or something. So you can be anywhere in that room, or I think even a little bit out. And then, uh, so when you when it goes online, it's almost like a domination thing where you capture the point, except it takes longer to capture. And obviously, there's only one, so everyone's trying to get to that one. So as you see, I can I'm putting out my projectile destroyer thing. <laughs> I forget what it's called. But it's actually really good, and not a lot of people know what it does actually. But it's actually really good for this game type because since everyone's trying to rush one spot, then uh, what it does, if I don't know if I said, uh, it, it destroys two airborne uh, projectiles. So if an enemy's throwing semtexes or noob tubes, it, it will destroy two of those, and then it just will, it will just not be able to be used again like it just gets destroyed after two but it's also really good because <laughs> I remember one game type I might actually uh, upload this one if I still have it is I um, there's two predators coming at me because I was the last one alive because in the headquarters uh, I guess I should explain this first when you capture it then it's kind of like a in search and destroy mode for the team that captured it so when you capture the headquarters you're alive until you get Sh uh, killed and then you have to wait until the headquarters gets destroyed by the enemy team until you can respawn again So basically I was the last one alive when we got our headquarters and then two enemy look at this look at this Look how raped that is. I freaking raped that team. That is amazing. Okay. Sorry. I just love that clip. All right, so Because I knew where they're gonna spawn because we just got it from there And then they, I knew they were just gonna try to rush the spot. So I just I uh, waited for them So it was a smart thing on my part but anyway, um, so, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the Preds. Um, basically, uh, I was the last one alive, as I said, like a million times. And two Preds were coming at me, like two enemy Preds, and I knew they were coming at me because I was the last one alive. And I don't know why I fucking said it again, because I'm stupid. I just woke up, so that's why I'm retarded right now. <laughs> and basically, I quickly pulled out the thing, projectile thing, and I... Uh, went prone under it so they both tried to directly hit me with the pred and then my projectile destroyed both predator missiles <laughs> so it was really funny because it started raging pretty bad and uh, yeah that's another really good thing about it it can actually dis uh, the destroy predator missiles or if there's like an AC-130 or Reaper uh, big ass missile thing coming at you it can actually destroy two of those two so if you're trying to get a point and there's a uh, uh, our, our AGM, or Reaper, or whatever you want to call it, it actually can destroy two of its things that's, that are coming at you, so you're not actually screwed like uh, like you could be if you didn't have that. So yeah, that's why I like using it a lot, because it helps me, and it's like a, a really good strategic thing. The only bad thing is that I can't flash bang or concussion grenade or EMP grenade, which I like using. And I guess you guys know what EMP grenade is because it's kind of has its purpose in its name. It's basically like an EMP except you throw it as a grenade and you just throw it at things that are kill streaks, like machine based. So like you can throw it at a re um, one of those f stupid recon drone airplanes that buzz around you like a fucking fly. 
or IMS or something and stuff like that. So that's why if like I wasn't using the projectile thing, I'll probably be using the EMP grenade because um, a good strategy in headquarters is to get an IMS and put it there. And as you see, I put an IMS there when I got it because once all the people are killed, the enemy's like, oh, everyone's dead, and they all rush the spot, and then my IMS just kills them. And then if, if the team's not too smart, it can actually uh, do a lot of damage. But again, uh, usually the people are smart who I play with, so this isn't like. It probably only does like, maybe like it kills like three people max, and then it gets destroyed because they're not retarded. <laughs> but <laughs> I remember one time my IMS killed like seven or eight people. It was really funny because they weren't thinking. Like I don't think they knew that they could just shoot at it. Because when it goes off, you can just shoot at it, and then you might die in the process. But the IMS is destroyed, and it's it's not too hard. It's like half a clip to kill it or maybe a full clip. I forget. So anyway, oh shit, <laughs> I love, <laughs> I hate, like, I, I, lo I love using the C C4, but, like, those stupid mistakes that I do, <laughs> they, they're so funny sometimes, and, like, ridiculous how they, they happen, like, somehow my C4 got stuck in, like, the air, I don't know, I thought it was funny when I was playing, I kind of laughed, and that's why I died, um, but yeah, the C4 can be really good too, except, the way people use it sometimes isn't really like the way that it should be used because what people do is like put the C4 there and then wait for the enemy to try to get this um, capture the thing and then they use the C4 but no one falls for that anymore basically like cuz like even though like if they don't see it the the chances are that the team threw a hell of a ton of flashbangs which means that the C4 won't be able to be used right away and stuff so I don't think I've really seen anybody, um, any C4s actually, um, do, like, kill a team when it's, like, hidden, quotation marks hidden, in the, in the base. It doesn't really work like that. Like, the only way I use the C4 is when I know people are at a spot that I can't shoot, like, over a rail or something, and I throw it over the rail. Or I just throw it outside and just wait for them to come in and hope that they're rushing and they can't see it. Like, that spot... I don't even think it's gonna even work because they probably saw it, so they probably shot it already. So, oh shit, I think I died here. I like, I get, I yeah, I think this is the the game that I decided to. Uh, I, <laughs> I use really weird kill streaks. Like, I use an IMS, and I forget what my second one was. I think it was like a helicopter or something. But then I also used a recon drone because it's like. It's really good for headquarters, again, because if there's a team in, like, a headquarters that's, like, inside a building, and they're, like, all in the walls, and they actually have it pretty down, like, everyone's covering a side, and they have, like, a good advantage, then throwing in a recon drone in there can just rape them all up, because, uh, the recon drone is basically a player, but it's a robot, and it doesn't get destroyed as easily, like, it can shoot, uh, like, grenades and stuff, and it has like machine gun and all that so it can be pretty good uh yeah i just i love the acr right now i don't know like i was using the m14 a lot and then like for headquarters there's a lot of a lot of the game play is where you're rushing into the headquarters and there's usually a lot of enemies so the C the m14 couldn't really be used as effectively as it could be for like domination or something because for domination at least how i play i usually find that there's people a lot further distance than me and like it's not really grouped uh, uh, grouped up that much except if they're like trying to capture a point then that's like the only time and then they're not even like really looking around so it's a lot easier to pick off people with the m14 and domination but I tried it, I think, like, twice, and it's not, like, I did pretty good still, but, like, I knew I needed a, a fully automatic gun to be able to pwn as hard as I did this round. Um, yeah, I was actually surprised that I got 84 kills. Like, I thought I was doing pretty bad, to be honest, because I was always so close to getting my kill streaks, and I don't even 
I don't even have like my pride AGM AC-130, which I usually have as my kill streaks, um, which also obviously rank up, rank up the kills a lot. Like the AGM and stuff, you just freaking pwn everyone. But I didn't even use any of that, and I still got 84 kills in one round, which is amazing. Uh, so it was really surprising to me. <laughs> I thought I was like almost okay, probably not negative, but I I don't think I was anywhere close to where I was. Um, there's another fail C throw to, uh, C4 toss. It's pretty funny actually. And then I, yeah, the guy, uh, <laughs> the guy pwned me with that C4 toss. <laughs> so that's uh, the difference between a good C4 toss and a bad one. And I typed something there. I didn't. I don't even. I can't even read it with the. Because I'm looking at the rendering screen and it's, it's too small to read. But anyway, there's still a lot of time left, but I don't really have... Actually, there's not a lot of time left. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong bar. But um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this uh, commentary. It's it's basically like I wanted to do a, con a, a full round and it kind of explain... One second, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> do a full round and kind of explain my strategy and why I'm picking things um oh I forgot to mention my uh, my perks I like using the scavenger because I'm alive a lot so and I and I shoot a lot because I kill a lot like look at that little feed right there that was pretty sick um so I use a lot of ammo and I not only does scavenger when it's pro uh, lets you pick up ammo, but you start with a lot more ammo when you uh, when you respawn. So that's obviously a big uh, thing I need, um, and I like it very much because <laughs> you never run out of ammo, basically. So that's important when you're uh, when you're good and you need ammo because you're not going to die a lot. And another, I think I got my reach. Yeah, I got finally got my recon drone. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I get to try this out. Um, because I think I, I don't know, I'm not sure if it was this round, but I think I got it before, I forget, but, um, I think someone else picked it up, because I, we got the headquarters, and then I forgot that I wasn't going to respawn again, so I couldn't get it, but anyway, um, yeah, so, I have scavenger, then I have hardline, because, you know, getting those, Getting w requiring one less kill for a kill streak is pretty good, and I don't really need any of the other things for the second one. And I I'm liking the the hard line because it just helps a lot. And so that's what I use for that. And then I use I think yeah Stalker Pro. Um, I like it because again I don't have like the IMS's and stuff like I can kill it before it even launches off and there's a nice <laughs> um, assault drone I think I was calling recon drone by accident assault drone kill cam I thought that was pretty funny so yeah I like using the stalker because it's just a good way of not dying from claymores and stuff so anyway I hope you guys like this commentary um, if you have a game that you think I should really try and you think it would be a really good game to commentate on then uh, holler at me and I will definitely consider it uh, chances are I probably have it and if not I will easily get it um, so yeah I hope you guys like this and I'll see you later peace